Hello and welcome to Aftershoot. In today's video, we're going over AI profile corrections. This means the ability to adjust an AI profile to fit specific needs. So let's get started. To get started, you can either click on your name in the upper right hand corner or view profiles. And what it'll do is bring you to my AI profile section. Here you'll see all of the AI profiles downloaded to your computer. You'll also notice that there's three dots next to every profile. And this allows you to either improve the profile, delete the profile, or in our case, we're gonna go ahead and adjust the profile. So by clicking on adjust profile, we are now in our modify slider section. This is where you'll find all of the sliders in which you can tweak manually using this feature. So to get started, we're gonna talk about white balance as our example. So if my AI profile seems to be white balancing a little bit too blue for my liking, I can go ahead and choose whether I'd like to have the AI apply the normal white balance that it was applying and then simply add on top an adjustment to that so I can make it warmer if I'd like or cooler if I'd like using the slider. Or I can choose if I want a fixed value to be inserted. So if I want all of the white balance on all of the images to always be set to a specific number, I can simply choose fixed value. Now, when the use case for this is applicable is when you want to have a certain defined value. So now we're on the screen in which we can adjust the profile based on these sliders. You'll see all of the sliders available to you for your tweaking, and you can choose multiple options within them. So for the first example, we're gonna pretend that my AI profile is white balancing a little bit too much blue. So what I can do is actually have it set to AI correction, and I can add some warmth to my profile by simply increasing the temperature. And what this means is that the AI will go in and edit how it normally was, so white balancing a little bit too blue, and then it will, on top of that, correct the AI's adjustment to make it a little bit warmer. Now, there is another option available, and we're gonna head on over to our presence sliders. And in this case, I may decide that I want for this specific session to have a little bit more texture in it. And in order to do this, I don't normally touch my texture slider. So instead, what I'm going to do is set a fixed value because I want to have all of the texture set to plus 15 on all of my images. Now, when the AI goes in, it's going to edit using my profile as it normally would, but it's going to add 15 to the texture to give it a slightly different look. And this is fantastic because on different sessions, I may want to tweak different sliders that I don't normally use in my AI profile. Now I can proceed with editing my Lightroom catalogs as I normally would. I simply head in, use Aftershoot edits, and those profile corrections will be applied to that profile when it goes to edit and Aftershoot, thus giving you full customizability on your AI profiles. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other videos to learn more about what Aftershoot can do for you.